you know, all starts with the formulated forecast down at the bottom with our study plot and things usually change by the time we get to the top. You know, we're down there at 8,000 feet collecting our data, seeing what we got down the bottom. We ride the tram and that's one of our better uh, forecasting tools is the tram. We can see out the window, turn the spotlight on, see what happened overnight. It's, it's we get to the top, we revisit the plan, maybe change it two or three times and we're always getting thrown curveballs in this industry. This is our two pound hand charges and 90 second cap and fuse that we make and we assemble all these prior to each avalanche control route that goes out. Working here at Snowbird, we get a lot of snow, we get a lot of weather, but at the same time we have a lot of tools to mitigate those hazards uh, for the avalanches. I'm kind of doing like a, a, a mini forecast before I get together with my route partner and then we can come together and decide what exactly we think we need to go out there to control the slope. With setup, we'll just have routes. I have High Ridge going bypass Anderson's Rock and Way, Wilbur Ridge. So uh, keep in mind those places that haven't been skied and seen, you know, close to two feet of snow. Bjorn and Keith, P1. Crop Bremer, P2. When it's storming, when it's blowing and snowing, it's certainly my favorite time to be out working. When it's snowing like crazy and there's avalanches going on and you know people are freaking out it's like the more you more level-headed you can be the better and one of the biggest things that that we teach our, our patrolmen the foundation for uh, us as forecasters is to uh, always pay attention and, and never let your guard down uh, it's rare that you get to take a fun run on a powder day because yeah. you're up having to control the route that someone is about to have fun on. We pride ourselves on how aggressive we are on keeping terrain open through the storm. And that's really what our objective is as a ski area is to, to start early, get the skiers on it as early as we can. There's uh, what we call ski checking or ski cutting. That's when we cross cut a slope when hazards a little bit lower than uh, than normal. That we, you know, if we feel like we can control a slope and release snow with our skis, then we will. If that's not possible, or or it's too hazardous to drop into um, the avalanche terrain. We'll go with hand charges. It's like one big, one big family. You know, we find ourselves in very intense situations and you know the people have your back. It's like, I think, I don't, I think it's like that with any job. I hope that it's like that with any job. It's like the people make the job, the people that you work with because you spend so much time with them. You know, and we are really fortunate to have a really cool crew of people that are willing to work hard and I know that they'll be for me in, in this situation. It's a really big picture of getting the whole mountain, understanding what's going on with the whole mountain and pulling all the pieces together. When things go wrong, what do I need to do? How can I get there? I really like the medical aspect of it. I, I enjoy helping out people. Some days you'll be doing snow control, then you'll get called out for a cliff rescue, then you'll get called out for an open tip fib. You just never know what the day will bring. Uh, people don't realize how much work we actually do. I mean, people say, oh yeah, it's keep trolling, it's a lot of fun. Like, yeah, it's a lot of work. You know, I guess the first and foremost has got to be skiing. If you don't love to ski, you're in the wrong profession. And yeah, I, I guess we can call ourselves ski moms because we do, that's what we do for a living. But to, to say that ski trolling is not a real job is, is a huge misconception. The training and the work that these uh, men and women have to do on a daily basis and the responsibilities they have to manage the ski area, manage as many people, and, and save lives and along with it. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. Close it!